Hey guys, how are you? Brett McMahon with my 15 minutes uh, trying to help you achieve your fitness goals. So tonight we're going to talk about different body shapes and trying to figure out what your shape or style is so that you can better achieve or help to achieve your fitness goals. So there's basically, the way I was trained and taught, there are basically three body types, and they are endomorphic, which would be somebody who would be more pear-shaped, okay? And then mesomorphic, which is somebody who's more muscular in terms of their builder design. And then ectomorphic, which is a thinner skeletal structure. When I was younger, I was an ectomorph. And at times, like a lot of people, I've probably been an endomorph. My goal is to really try to lean on the side of mesomorph, which is the more muscular structure. So let's talk about the three real quick. I think the, the, the reason behind this is if you're trying to achieve goals in fitness and training and you're trying to look better, it's probably a good idea to know where do you start? Where, where are you in terms of starting position? So let's talk about the ectomorph. Uh, everybody knows that, you know, somebody who's an ectomorph, it's going to be a real thin skeletal st structure, uh, maybe longer limbs, thinner, um, and they, their struggle is going to be, especially if you're a guy and you want to you wanna get in the gym and you're an ectomorph, uh, which a lot of us were back in high school, you're going to want to, you're going to have to work a little harder to put on weight. So that means you're going to have to eat more calories and you're probably going to lean towards maybe going a little heavier uh, on your exercises because your struggle is going to be putting on mass. So that would be an ectomorph. You're going to have to, if you're looking to gain muscle, you're going to have to work a little harder in terms of lifting a little heavier, maybe, you know, high intensity training, that type of uh, mode of operandi, and then increasing the caloric intake. So you're going to want to increase those calories in order to put on the muscle that you're looking for. And then the mesomorph, which is a natural, muscular, developed person. There, in my experience, there are less of those, though according to percentages, there's actually more. So that's somebody who's going to have an easier time of putting on muscle and, and gaining strength uh, in, the, in the gym. And then there's the endomorph. In the case of the endomorph, they're going to lean more towards the heavier side. And if that's the case, then your goal is going to be to probably watch the calories uh, and, and pay a little more attention to the diet. And then you're, you're probably gonna look, my advice would be increase the cardio, maybe a little lighter in terms of the, uh, the weight that you're gonna be pushing in higher repetitions. So you're gonna be looking to lean down if you're on the endomorphic side. So basic three skeletal structures. Now, that being said, most people, believe it or not, are combinations of these different uh, shapes. So you're going to be an ectomeso or a endomeso, meaning that you're a combination of the mesomorph, endomorph, or ectomorph and the mesomorph. That's really what the majority of people that are out there are going to be. But it's a good idea to get an idea as to your skeletal shape and muscular shape so that you can then format what type of workouts you want to incorporate to achieve your goals. So again, if you're trying to transform your physique or you're really trying to get yourself in shape, it's a great starting place to say, okay, what am I, what's my base? What am I looking at? If again, ectomorph, looking to gain muscle, put on some size, mesomorph, you're probably going to be looking at dieting and, and the strength's going to come easy to you. And then endomorph, you're looking at, you know, again, watching the calories, increasing the cardio in order to get to the goals and achieve that you're looking for from a fitness perspective. So let's say you think you're an ectomorph, you're a thinner skeletal structure, and you say to yourself, okay, hey, I'm looking to get a little stronger. I want to get in the gym. You're a guy. You want to put on 20 pounds. Well, then you're going to need to set your goal. So you're going to put on 20 pounds. What are you going to do? You're going to need to increase those calories. So the more calories you you consume, the more weight you're going to be able to put on. And you're going to have a burn rate. So if that burn rate's 2,000 calories a day and you want to gain weight, let's say you can consume 3,000, you're going to gain X amount of pounds a week in order to meet your goal. That's probably going to take you somewhere between, I'm going to guess, you could probably put on 20 pounds in maybe 90 days. There are people who do it faster. I don't recommend that. I think uh, you, you, you're going to tend to get uh, yourself over the line and maybe gain too much weight or fat at that point so my suggestion would be to uh, you know try to take this slow and steady in order to accomplish your goal but again for the ectomorph a little higher intensity trying to push as much weight as you can and consuming as many calories as you can as you structure this goal over a 90-day period 
with the uh, let's go to the other side of the scale and talk about the endomorph. Somebody who's looking looking most likely to gain some strength or lose some weight. If you're looking to lose some weight, you're going to cut those calories back. So we're looking at if you're normally consuming that 3,000, you're going to go the other way and cut it down to two or 1,800, and you're going to do this also over a six, eight, or 90-day period, six, eight weeks to a 90-day period, uh, in order to achieve that same, uh, you know, objective of say you're losing 20 pounds in this case. So again. Increasing the cardio, depleting the calories over that time period. And if you're looking at the weight training, my suggestion would be to incorporate a higher volume of weight training with more repetitions and probably lighter weight uh, in order to achieve the goals. Okay, guys, so that's Brett McMahon with Brett McMahon's My 15 Minutes. Continuing here with our anti-aging nutrition uh, videos trying to help you get in the gym, lose weight, identify what your body type is, and uh, accomplish your fitness goals. Uh, again, Brett McMahon with My 15 Minutes, uh, over and out.